art when I was younger as a sort of holy thing that needed a, a specific frame, a context. And when I started skateboarding, um, I just fell in love with the graphics at first because I'm, I'm a visual person. And particularly all the, the stuff that Evan Ecox was doing for chocolate skateboards. And what blew my mind was the fact that it was as beautiful as something you'd see in a museum or in a book. But the context was so different. The context was eventually destined to be destroyed. And it still blows my mind the fact that it's practical art. It's, it's practical creativity and it's a, it's a picture that, that develops and, and, and breathes more through the accidents. It's like, a, it's like a, the image of a life of, of its own, you know? It gets created by someone a child gets made and then it gets printed mm. and so the kid gets an education and then eventually it goes out to the world when the, when the things get bought by someone mm. and through skating you, you give scarf to the graphic mm. and then when you see the graphic back it's, it's unique because it's, it's experienced because it's going to get worn, it's going to get ripped, it's going to get damaged and, then it's, and the idea that you could enhance an image through damage, scarf, an experience was something that I just got fascinated with. And I get ideas through seeing things come to life and, and get scarred, you know? The experience that the work brings back is something that I digest. And it was one of my first experiences with, with trying to bring physicality to my work. It was just so exciting.